This calculator is powered by a photovoltaic cell, which consists of a very thin layer of N-type silicon on top of a thicker layer of P-type silicon. The P means that if the contact on the end of the P-type material is made positive, and if the contact on the end of the N-type material is made negative, then an electric current can be made to flow from N to P through an external circuit. Current can't be made to flow in the other direction. When a photon strikes a crystal at the junction between the two materials, an electron is free. The photon gives the electron enough energy to leave the crystal. Due to the properties of the semiconducting materials, the electron tends to move to the end side. This creates a tiny potential across the opposite ends of the device, and an electric current can be made to flow through an external circuit. A photovoltaic cell needs a really different model. There are some differences, all right. The electron only gains a tiny bit of energy as it moves from the junction to the n-type material. But it's still a visible photon that comes in. Why does the electron get such a small amount of energy? Well, some of the energy is used to do work to free the electron from the crystal. Okay. But most of the energy is lost internally within the junction as the electron moves into the n-type material. The junction's a region of relatively high resistance. I suppose that's why they call silicon crystals semiconductors. That's right. The end result is the n-type material becomes slightly more negative, and that creates an electric potential of a few tenths of a volt across these contacts. But that isn't enough potential difference to run a calculator, is it? No, it isn't. A number of photovoltaic cells must be connected in series to produce enough potential difference. So light energy has been transformed into electric energy. And that's why a photovoltaic cell is photoelectric. That's it.